Hey guys, welcome back to Real Anime Training. I'm the Anime Trainer, and if you've ever wondered what kind of cardio Broly would do, wonder no further. Thanks to being exiled by King Vegeta, Broly grows up on a planet that is not very habitable for most people. He would be of great use to Vegeta. My son, the planet or me. Yes! <laughs> he has to deal with crazy monsters and really rough living conditions. When we see Broly in the movie, he's a little rough around the edges, but he's really, really athletic. So today we're going to do two Metcons back to back that are going to really focus on strength and our athleticism in a high intensity situation. Okay, the first Metcon is a barbell complex. It's really simple. We're gonna do five deadlifts, five power cleans, five front squats, and five thrusters. And we're gonna start that with 65 pounds. At no point during the barbell complex should you put the bar down. After you complete five repetitions of each of those exercises without putting the bar down, you're going to add 10 pounds, so that's five pounds to each side, and then you're going to take five slow, deep breaths and immediately go back into the next set. So you're going to do 65 pounds, five deadlifts, five power cleans, five front squats, and five thrusters. And then you're going to put the bar down, add 10 pounds, take five breaths, and do it all over again, but this time with 75 pounds. And you're gonna follow that exact process of five deadlifts, five power cleans, five front squats, and five thrusters, uh, followed by adding the weight and five deep breaths. And you're gonna do that until you're unable to complete the entire barbell complex without putting the bar down. If you put the bar down, you are done. At the very beginning of doing this training, if you're not used to these movements, or if your cardio is not very good, if you're not very strong, you might end up capping out at about 95 pounds, and that's perfectly fine. You'll get better as time goes. You need to realize that as you're moving along in this workout, you're gonna be more tired as you put more weight on, because you've already done a whole bunch of other reps. So even if 135 might not be a big deal if you were fresh, after doing all those other reps, 135 might feel like a lot of weight. An important thing for this barbell complex is to remember your posture. On any of these movements, we're not moving from the spine. This is a lot of hip movement. We're really focusing on our posterior chain here. So whether or not you're doing the deadlift or the power clean, or if you're squatting, or if you're doing the thruster, I want you to focus on moving from the hips and not from your spine. That is super, super important. All right, the next Metcon is a legendary circuit. This circuit is eight stations, including one station of rest, and we're gonna do 60 seconds of work at each station and two rounds. So it's gonna be a total of 16 minutes. We're gonna start off with a 10 meter sled push and rope drag. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put half of our body weight on that sled, we're gonna push it 10 meters, and then we're gonna sprint away from it and then pull it back to us with a rope. And we're gonna repeat that for the entire 60 seconds. The next exercise is we're gonna do kettlebell swings for 60 seconds. You can start off with a little bit lighter just to make sure that you keep your form, uh, but later you can go ahead and jump up to 53 pounds or 70 pounds, whatever kettlebell that you have, as long as you have good form. I want you guys to focus on breaking back from the hips and then you're gonna move primarily from the hips to get the weight to move. So I don't want you to think about pulling with your arms, you're squeezing your glutes forcefully and explosively to get the hips to move forward and the weight will come up on its own. We're not going up all the way over the head, we are coming up in front of the chest. And once again, like most things, we're not moving from the spine here. The next exercise is shuttle sprints for 60 seconds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprint out 10 meters, touch, come back, sprint, 10 meters, touch, and we're just gonna keep going back and forth for 60 seconds. Really push that speed here. The next exercise is a burpee broad jump, and we're gonna do that for 60 seconds. So you're gonna hit that burpee. As you start to come up, instead of jumping with your hands over your head, you're going to jump forward into a broad jump, land, stand up all the way, and then do the next rep. The next exercise is a heavy farmer's carry. 
When I say heavy farmer's carry, it's okay if it's so heavy that you have to put it down during the, during the workout, but you should only have to put it down uh, one or two times during those, that 60 second block. When you can carry whatever weight that is for the entire 60 seconds for both rounds, then it's time to move up. For the farmer's carry, I want you to make sure that you can keep your shoulder blades back and that you really have a good tight grip on that bar. Don't have a loose grip, really squeeze it. The next exercise is a yoke carry, which is really just for our purposes, we're gonna have a barbell on our back. Ideally, we would wanna be able to pick this bar up out of a rack and then walk with it, but if you don't have that set up, you're gonna use a lighter weight that you can clean and then push press to get onto your back to be able to walk with it for 60 seconds. When you can do both 60 second rounds of the yoke carry without putting the bar down, it's time to add a little bit of weight. Okay guys, the last exercise before we rest is going to be a bear crawl sandbag drag. So what you're gonna do is you're going to get over top of a sandbag and you're going to bear crawl a little bit and then pull it through with one arm. And then you're gonna bear crawl over it and pull it through with the other arm. And you're gonna repeat that process for the entire 60 seconds. When it feels like you're able to do that 60 seconds relatively easy with the sandbag that you have, you can use a heavier sandbag. And the last station is resting. It is 60 seconds of rest following seven minutes of very intense work. I want you to try to slow your breathing down, take deep, deep breaths, big exhale. After two rounds of this and the previous barbell complex, I guarantee that you're gonna be completely smoked. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this workout. It's a really tough one, so be careful with it. Safety first always. And if you need some help with your training going forward, we have some stuff in the description that you can check out. Uh, and if you would like to become a patron and help us keep the lights on, so to speak, uh, we would love to have you. And until next time, guys, good luck and train hard. And a very special thank you to our gracious supporters over on Patreon. If you want to help support us, please go to patreon.com slash realanimatetraining and join the patron community.